Born with a rare heart disease, a local girl is beating the odds. In fact, Quinn Santini has been beating those odds since day one with the help of doctors at Children's Hospital. Royce Jones shares her story of hope and heart. This is two-year-old Quinn. When I describe Quinn, I always say that she loves life because she's so happy. She loves to make people laugh. For a little girl with all this energy and even more heart, you would never guess how far she's come. Quinn has cardiomyopathy, a rare heart muscle disease. In the general population, it would be quite rare. You're probably talking, you know, one in a thousand, a one in 10,000, or, or maybe even a little bit less. Quinn was born a healthy baby. Her first week of life was spent in the hospital with some fluid in her lungs, but otherwise she was just fine. However, when she finally made it home. She just was real lethargic, uh, wouldn't eat for us. And just two days later, Quinn was rushed back to the hospital and fading. She was actually in the cardiac arrest in, in Indiana Hospital. Um, the team there did an amazing job uh, getting her uh, stable enough to get on the helicopter to come to Children's. After landing, doctors discovered Quinn's heart was failing. She had emergency surgery, spent two weeks on ECMO, a life support machine for the heart and lungs, then ended up on a breathing tube for the next two months. Doctors said her only chance of survival was a heart transplant. We were watching our baby slowly die. At three months old, things turned around when news came of a donor heart and Quinn's life changed forever. They said, you know, she's going to get a heart and she's going to show us what she can do. She came out of the OR. She was pink. She was gorgeous. And from there, she went from being on life support to slowly just becoming a normal toddler that she is today. Today, Quinn continues beating the odds, developing normally by all accounts. We joke around that, you know, she's a future cardiologist or, you know, a future nurse. There's no cure for Quinn's condition, but with her dedication and continued care at UPMC Children's Hospital, the world is her playground. It took her nine months to walk, but every time she fell, she got back up and I don't know what she's going to do, but she's she's going to do it if she wants to do it. Quinn's story, though already incredible, is clearly just beginning. Royce Jones, KDKA News. Quinn is one of the many children whose lives have been changed at Children's Hospital. And this Thursday, KDK is once again teaming up with Children's for the 67th annual Free Care Fund Benefit Show. The fund ensures no child is denied medical care because their family can't afford it. Please join us this Thursday, December 10th, beginning at 4 o'clock, right here on KDKA.